Hi guys, today I will look into something interesting I got into Mile recently. So this is um, Omega 2 single board computer created by a company called uh, Onion and it's funded through Kickstarter. So Kickstarter company already finished and they, I think they raised about 600 uh, more than $660,000 it's a pretty successful campaign and what's cool about it that this little computer will cost uh, only $5 so uh, and there is a bigger brother of it which will cost $9 it has a little bit more memory and um, some extra SD slot I think so I got one and I also got expansion board with it so this is how it came and let's look what's inside um, so, I'm not sure how original packaging gonna look like because this is look like it's just uh, packaging for the extension board uh, and there is a computer itself. So it's pretty simple packaging, there is no, yeah it's called just an expansion dock, it says here. Uh, there is no papers, no, no manual of any kind, so there is nothing to see over there. So here is mini... Um, mini computer or single board computer so it's pretty small form factor it's very similar form factor as Teensy or Particle or um, what other similar um, products so in the bottom it has um, SD slot and top it, it has just big can and uh, on chip antenna and I guess a micro antenna connection for the external antenna and and that's pretty much it a little bit of loose electronic in the bottom mostly passive component not mostly all of them I think are passive components and some headers pretty simple uh, I like the purple color of the PCB that's pretty nice looking let's look at it closely here's how it looks close up Very nice. So okay, so this is um, single board computer itself, or Omega Two computer, and here's the expansion dock. So expansion dock obviously designed to uh, power this uh, Omega Omega Two. And by the way, this is Omega Two uh, Pro version because it has a little bit more memory and looks like it has a um, SD slot uh, on the bottom. This uh, this guy gonna cost nine bucks. So this is expansion dock, and uh, Omega Two goes just like that. Clicks in. Click just like this all right and so on this expansion dock we have uh, another header which actually has all sorts of um, GPIOs and other pins available uh, into a nice header which you can actually plug in your breadboards um, connectors so expansion dock has USB 2 over here I think this is um, this mi uh, mic mini micro USB. Sorry, <laughs> is for debugging and powering. Uh, this probably res reset switch, and this is I believe on off. So it has color LED. Uh, looks like it's color LED, and I bet this is USB controller. Not hundred percent sure, but and there is uh, some power um, circuit. I guess for power regulation. Oh, by the way, this. Um, uh, Omega 2 computer it works with I think it uh, it works with 3.3 volts so all output pins are and input pins are 3.3 volt compatible so they are not 5 volts compatible just let you know so out pins pins probably not as big deal but if you're gonna apply um, some input signal to it make sure that it's 3.3 volt because I'm not sure if that's gonna handle 5 volts uh, nicely. So what is actually Omega 2 um, itself? So um, 
It is 580 MHz single core CPU of MIPS architecture. It is based on Qualcomm Athros AR9331. Um, it has 64 megabytes of, of RAM. Uh, I have actually uh, two contradicting ver uh, um, uh, read, uh, sources in internet. One has 64 max for regular and 128 for uh, Omega 2 uh, plus version, or oh, so I said pro previous name in plus, and uh, 16 for uh, Omega 2 regular and um, 32 for plus, but uh, other source uh, 64 in both cases, and difference only in 32 megs of memory and um, micro SD slot. So I have to do better research, but looks like that was what I could find. Uh, it's, it has Wi Fi. It supports BGN, has 15 GPIOs, two PWM, uh, one I uh, I square C and one I square S um, outputs, and uh, looks like it also has serial here. It, they are mapped uh, over here. Uh, potentially, they are also parallel uh, used in the same USB, so it's not like a separate um, serial. But I'm not 100% sure. So. This uh, without much reading, that's my assumption here. Uh, what I've read so is that um, there are some libraries already available from developers. Uh, this is uh, C libraries and Python libraries to work with uh, I2C, I2S, and the GPIOs. Uh, so as well as Linux has some command line tools already available to control some uh, GPIOs uh, f f straight from the command line. So let's power uh, this mini computer or single board computer and see how it what's happening. So this is essentially first time power. I never actually powered this thing before. Don't have anything set up for it. I just want to power it up and see how it's going to work. Uh, this is cable come goes to my laptop, and uh, it already started recognizing something with this device. Over here, I see almost no lights, so I don't know what's really going on. Oh, I see lights blinking over here on the on the main uh, board. There is nothing blinking on the um, uh, expansion dock. Uh, my Windows Seven failed to find any kind of drivers for this, which is probably expected. Because, as far as I understand, have to install something extra on Windows, but this is just a straight up um, uh, Windows installation without any drivers or anything like that. Right, uh, and probably in order to do uh, anything with it, I have to like set up Wi Fi and uh, probably I'll have to initialize the serial uh, over USB in order to actually do anything. But this is just the beginning. Uh, let me see what this, this button does. Yeah, that's the power button. And I assume this is reset. And it doesn't do much really, this little button over here. Well, my first impression are pretty nice. I like the uh, board itself. Um, then also I like the expansion uh, expansion dog. Especially I like very nice um, nice labeling over here. Uh, nice and clear reading. Um, very nice design of PCB. And I, all, I like that this white um, PCB mask is, is nice and matte color, not shiny. Yeah, but I mean, it's no big deal. But it's still very nicely designed. So, if you want to know more about this um, um, single board computer and uh, more peripherals for it, because there's a whole like fleet of different peripherals you can connect. It can be like Bluetooth. It can be uh, cellular. It can be like. Uh, 
uh, I think relay board and so on and so forth. There, is a, there are many, many things. So go and check Kickstarter um, or um, Onion. Uh, Um, onion website by the way I forgot to mention a very important thing this thing comes with pre uh, pre flashed Linux so it it comes with the version of Linux which is based on uh, open WRT um, so it's it's it comes with it right out of the box so you don't have to do anything so technically if you can boot and if you have every all software available on your computer you can just plug it in connect through your command line and start already doing something so i don't even know how much time it takes this uh, this uh, omega 2 computer to boot um, so i'll do more software research in my next video about it so i'll try to install all necessary software for windows or maybe i use my linux machine which probably could be a little bit easier and uh, and we'll, I'll go from there. I'll cover the setup procedures and all necessary um, uh, installation procedures to actually uh, t to start working with it, like developing or using it one way or another. So I hope you like this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.